on my table there is a plug on one of the walls before one actually gets into the church itself indicating that this according to tradition was the place where there was a rendezvous after the resurrection for the gospel does say the mountain, the place that Jesus had appointed for them they were to go there to Galilee therefore for three of the disciples this was familiar territory and when they saw him again in the light of the resurrection of which the Gospels always speak there is a mention of white light there in relation to angels and so on they would have been again in familiar territory for this brightness, this whiteness brighter than any fuller on earth could manage to whiten this was already seen at this sacred spot and they were obviously allowed to see a Christ essentially in his humanity the same but made visibly participant in all the power of his divinity hence transfigured in the full sense of the word and they were caught up themselves in this ecstasy. St. Seraphim of Sarov would spend nights in prayer and one night he was with a friend of his who stayed up all night and towards dawn the friend of the saint saw that he too was in some way being transfigured and was entering into a mode of ecstasy. But they were still in communication and the saint addressed his friend, What do you feel? And he answered, I feel an immense well-being. And the saint answered, This is that peace of which the Saviour spoke. Now, that is the bottom line of true ecstasy and joy. We cannot fabricate emotions, we cannot fabricate experiences, but we can fully receive, and it is peacefulness of heart, soul and body that is the maximal terrain for receiving. Hence it is that we do not seek experiences, but we, under divine conditions and only under those conditions, lay ourselves open to be genuinely consoled. We are on the winning side, and therefore the bottom line is joy, no matter what pain comes. For we shall see that transfigured Christ, and the glory of the beatific vision in that case for which our soul is fundamentally created and orientated. And nothing, nothing short of that can satisfy our soul. So we observe over the planet a huge victory for the enemy of the soul. There are so many people look in the wrong area for peace, joy and consolation.